It is clear that the administration of Governor Willy Obiano of Anambra State has continued to tow the path of good governance that his predecessor, Mr. Peter Obi, was known for. Both Governor Obiano and Mr. Peter Obi are products of the All Progressives Grant Alliance Abge, the party that the late Ezibo Buruburu, Dim Chukwemeka Odimegu Ojoku, bequeathed to Ndibo. At the inspection of his administration, Governor Obiano assured Indianambura that he will be guided by the 4C principle to continue with projects begun by his predecessor, Peter Obi, to complete and commission them, and also to commence his own projects. Governor Biano has prudently managed the resources of the state, despite reducing federal allocations occasioned by lower crude oil production and sales in the international market, falling oil prices, as well as other economic factors. Despite these challenges, Outbook DK has continued to meet his obligations to the citizens and partners and will continue to do so. Workers are paid on time, unlike in other states, where civil servants are owed arrears of salaries. Leave allowances are also paid on time. Promotions are done as and when due, and civil servants receive bags of rice and other goodies every Christmas. Backlog of civil servants' pensions and gratuities have been cleared including the 25-year pension and gratuity backlog, owed retired staff of the Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS, totaling almost 300 million naira. For this reason, organized labor and other stakeholders have variously crowned Governor Biano as champion of workers' welfare. The governor has variously been honored by the Sun newspaper, Silverbird and other reputable media organizations with the Governor of the Year Awards. Governor Biano deploys the resources of Anambra State to work for Ndia Anambra. Many often wonder how he is able to do all these for Ndia Anambra, despite the economic challenges and recession Nigeria has gone through. It is through his indigenous leadership and management styles. He is guided by two principles. He calls one creative funding and the other doing more with less. Guided by these principles, Governor Biano continues to channel needed resources towards several sectors, including health, education, agriculture, roads and infrastructure, investment attraction and promotion, and so on. Anambra State now boasts of world-class bridges. There are the three beautiful Oka bridges located at Aroma, Kwata and Amobibai Pass, Nengu Bridge at Interje. Iyora Bridge in the agrarian Anambra West area, which will open up the area to further economic activities. The Ordene Eziaglo Bridge, reputed to be the longest bridge in Anambra State, which connects the rest of the state to the oil reserves through Aguleruoto in Anambra East local government area. Governor Biano continues to invest in the security architecture of Anambra State. This has ensured that the state remains one of the safest in Nigeria. Through the Light Up Anambra project, streetlights now traverse almost all the communities in Anambra State, thus gradually turning Anambra State into a 24-hour economy. Unlike in the past, the Anambra now visit home regularly, whether at Christmas, Easter or during family ceremonies. The Anambra have a good man in Governor Willie Obiano, they know this too and demonstrated it with their votes during the November 2017 gubernatorial election when they renewed the governor's mandate for a second term with a now famous 21 over 21 landslide victory. Governor Biano, in accepting the renewed mandate, pledged that it will work even harder during his second tenure. He has been doing that vigorously. No doubt, Nigeria is in election season. The presidential and national assembly elections have already been concluded, while the state House of Assembly election is scheduled for Saturday, March 9, 2019. There is no better time for India Nambara to vote for continued peace, progress, prosperity and synergy in the state than on the day of that election. This is a call for India Nambara to vote in Abga candidates in the state assembly elections who will work synergistically with Governor Biano to sustain the progress being made in the state. 
India Nambra should avoid promoting rancor, tension and heating up the polity by voting non-ABGA members into the House of Assembly who will get into loggerheads and leadership tussle with the governor. If we do, the remaining years of Obianos tenure may just be spent dealing with needless rancor between the executive and legislative arms of government. In the words of Senator Chris Ngige, former governor of Anambra State and Minister of Labor and Employment, quote, our people should learn to play national and regional politics. In national elections, we should support the bigger parties, but we should support ABGA for our regional and state elections, unquote. Let us vote ABGA House of Assembly candidates so that we will continue to enjoy the peace, partnership and progress we are currently enjoying in the state. The presidential and national assembly elections are over. It is now time to focus on the matter at hand, which is ensuring that India Nambra elect ABGA candidates in the forthcoming state assembly elections. It is time to render the type of support given to Peter B. Okutendibo, former governor of Anambra State, under ABGA, and the vice presidential candidate of the PDP in the just concluded presidential election to ABGA candidates in the coming local assembly elections. India Nambra, let us come out on Saturday, March 9th, to vote ABGA candidates for House of Assembly elections. This is indeed our chance. Let us take it.